today we are going to discuss matrix methods. So here in this chapter we will discuss only flexibility matrix. How to form a flexibility matrix. So our first task is what is matrix method in structural analysis. So in structural analysis matrix method has two conditions or two subdivisions one is flexibility matrix one is stiffness matrix what is these things okay let me write first then i will tell you first one is stiffness matrix and second one is flexibility matrix now what is these two cases what is flexibility matrix and what is stiffness matrix so forget everything just try to imagine what is what do we what do you mean by flexibility and what do you mean by stiffness just try to think about it what is flexibility and what is stiffness so just assume if you take this marker pen right this marker pen has if i apply some force if i apply some force so hence it is more it is some rigid it is some conditions to make some deflection Compared to if I take some stick, just uh, just imagine if I take a small some small some sort of stick or your scale, the scale which we are using in our daily life, scale, scale ruler. So that thing is flexible. We can easily make some deformation in the in that scale or some stick compared to this marker, whole marker pen. So that's why that scale is more flexible compared to this marker so that is the difference between the stiffness and the flexibility so from the even from the example you can see that both stiffness and flexibility just opposite to each other so that is the difference between stiffness and flexibility so that is the first condition for stiffness and flexibility right now try to remember one case uh, in our class 11, we have gone through one case in stiffness of spring. There, we have write down P is equal to K into delta. Right? So, this equation we have studied beyond our, I think, class 11 for spring stiffness. What is this? This is force. This is your stiffness. And this is your deflection so this is the equation which we have gone through it so what is this force equal to stiffness into delta so if i apply delta equal to 1 if delta equal to 1 then p is equal to k right then p is equal to k in this equation so, so we can easily say that force equal to stiffness, right? So, you can directly say that force required force required to produce unit deflection That is equal to your stiffness. This is nothing but stiffness. Force required to produce unit deflection equal to stiffness. Now, this is for only for the force. Now, if I apply moment, similarly, in this case, stiffness will be same and moment will produce a rotation that is equal to theta that is equal to theta so that is the difference here in this case moment required to produce unit rotation so that is equal to your stiffness so in this case for stiffness unit deflection is important so here in stiffness what is happening we are producing or trying to produce a unit deflection right now what is flexibility that is your question. Third, unit deflection. Force required for unit deflection. What is this case? 
So just I have told you flexibility and flexibility and stiffness are opposite to each other. So flexibility are opposite to stiffness. Very simple. Just go through the basic imagination or concepts that example of scale and this marker. So that is the case flexibility and stiffness. So here I can write down P is equal to K into delta. Fine. So from here you can further write down P is equal to 1 by stiffness. Stiffness is equal to opposite to stiff. Sti flexibility is equal to st opposite to stiffness. So just make it inverse and it is denoted by F. Flexibility is denoted by F. Right? So we can say delta equal to F into P. It is clear. Here we got P is equal to K into delta. Here delta equal to F into P. Fine. Now, if it is equal to 1. So then delta equal to F. So here we have done one case delta. You need deflection. Here you need force. So here what is flexibility? Flexibility is flexibility is displacement produced displacement produced Displacement produce for or by unit force. So what we have seen here displacement are producing for due to unit force. For unit force. Here we are seeing that for flex for stiffness. Here, unit rotation or unit deflection, it means unit displacement are provided. So that is the difference of stiffness and that is the difference of flexibility. And same thing will be for also moment. In this case, it will be theta, not delta. Because displacement is two types. One is deflection, one is rotation. So we have to calculate or we have to consider both rotation as well as deflection for finding out displacement. So that is the basic difference of stiffness matrix and flexibility matrix. I hope it is clear. Now here we will discuss only about flexibility matrix. So what is flexibility matrix? We have gone through the basics. What is flexibility? It is just opposite to stiffness. So here we have to find out what is flexibility matrix. Right? So we got one case here. Delta is equal to F into P. So we got delta equal to F into P. Right? So if we write down, writing this thing, writing in matrix form, if we write, just try to assume, if this is your beam, so if this side this side and a rotation is occurring. So there is three type of displacements. Here DOF equal to 3. Right? Degree of freedom, kinematic indeterminacy will be 3. Because vertical displacement will be there. Vertical, vertical displacement means vertical deflection will be there. A horizontal deflection will be there. And a rotation will be there. Fine. There is no need for this side. So do not be confused here in the uh, arrow side. This is just degree of freedom symbol. We can give that if we can find out or we can see or we can show the arrows in different sides to find out degree of freedom. There is no problem. So in this case degree of freedom is 3. So here delta number of delta number of displacements. So number of displacements will be same. It is equal to 3. So here delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3. Now here one delta will be theta. One delta will be theta. Why? Because here one rotation will come. So just this 
this case into force P. So here P1, P2 and P3. Right? So this is a matrix of 3 into 1. This is a matrix of 3 into 1. Right? So for this, you have to make it a 3 by 3 matrix to make it the summation. This is simple, nothing but matrix multiplication. In matrix multiplication, we have gone through that n into n and n into p. When it will become, then matrix multiplication is possible. So in this case, you need 3 by 3 matrix, right, to make it 3 of 1 matrix here. So that's why you need some stiffness coefficients or 3 by 3 matrix. So just assume this thing's matrix is known as nothing but flexibility matrix. And this coefficient F11, F12 and further these things are known as flexibility coefficients. Clear? What do you mean by F of 1, 1? So this is very simple. F of 1, 1. What is F of 1, 1? For stiffness, you will get K11. Similar here, K11, K12, K13. So what is F of 1, 1? What is K of 1, 1? So this is your very important case. What is what do you mean by K11 or F11? So here we got through one case. Just remember or just try to imagine P is equal to K into delta. Right? So here if delta equal to 1, so P is equal to K. Right? So if delta equal to 1, then P is equal to K. So just here, 1 means here deflection or displacement, not deflection, it is actual term is displacement. It is displacement equal to 1. At this case, here force. So here, if it is displacement 1, because in stiffness, displacement is always 1. Either it is deflection or it is rotation. So in this case, displacement is 1. And at this case, here I am applying the force. K1, coordinate 1, I am applying force. Always there is another coordinate. This At coordinate 1, we have to find the displacement. So here, in this case, 1 will be simple displacement. And this 1 will be your force equal to 1. So here, stiffness means or flexibility means, let us write down these cases, what is stiffness and what is flexibility. So flexibility means displacement occurred displacement occurred in 1 or direction 1 direction 1 displacement occurred in direction 1 due to unit force at 1 both are 1 so that's why displacement occurred in the direction 1 due to unit force at 1 second is here force required force required right force required in direction 1 to produce unit displacement at 1. So just see these lines and you can easily say that is just opposite. This is nothing but opposite. So what is F1? Displacement occur in the direction 1. So right at 1 it is displacement is occurring. So 
due to unit force at 1. So at this coordinate we are applying 1. Unit force. Similar thing is but similar thing but it is totally opposite for the case of stiffness. So like if we take a simple example it will be totally clear what is flexibility matrix, how to form a flexibility matrix and how can we make it a stiffness matrix from flexibility matrix. Let us take a simple example or question 1 for forming forming a simple flexibility matrix. Suppose this is a simple cantilever beam and we are applying this side and this side. Right? So, make your question is make flexibility matrix. In some gate questions, you can find out a beam will be given like this, right? And a direction will be also given at direction 1 or direction 2 or maybe some more 3, 4 like that. And you have to make the flexibility matrix or in some cases you have to find out like F12, F23, F33 the values of flexibility coefficient. So your first task is here. Write down it is DOF equal to 2. DOF equal to 2. So order of flexibility matrix. So order of flexibility matrix equal to simple 2 by 2. Right? Hence the flexibility matrix will be like F of 1 1, F of 1 2, F of 2 1, F of 2 2. So this should be the flexibility matrix. Now your problem is or our task is to find out the coordinates. What does it mean by the this co flexibility coefficients F11. So first is F11. So first is F11. Just go through or try to imagine what we have discussed just previous just previously. So what is here happening? Here coordinate 1 displacement displacement at the direction 1 due to unit force due to unit force at 1 that is the meaning of F11 now next is f of 1, 2. What does it mean by f of 1, 2? Displacement in the direction of 1. Direction of 1 due to unit force at at 2. It is all written as 2. So it is equal to at 2. Next is F of 2, 1. So F of 2, 1 means displacement in the direction displacement in the direction first one is 2. So displacement in the direction 2. Right? Displacement in the direction 2 due to unit force due to unit force at second one is 1 due to unit force at 1 right now next one is F of 2 2 what is F of 2 2 so here it is displacement in the direction In the direction, first one is 2. So displacement in the direction 2 due to unit force at what coordinate? 2 because second one is also 2. So due to unit force at 2. 
Just go through it. This is the basics in flexibility. We have discussed what is F11, what is F12, right? So F11, displacement in the direction 1 due to unit force at 1. So now, check in the direction 1. So here, displacement in the direction 1. So suppose displacement has two types, deflection and rotation. Deflection and rotation. So at the direction 1, 1 is acting this side, downward side. So tell me which type of displacement is possible in the direction 1. Which type of displacement is possible in direction 1? Displacement is two types, deflection and rotation. Now, displacement is occurring at the direction 1. So, which type of displacement is occurring? In this case, a deflection will occur, not rotation. Fine, I think it is clear now. Similarly, displacement in the direction 1. So, here it is also mean equal to deflection. That is your deflection. Right? Now, next is displacement in the direction 2. Check the diagram again. This is your direction 2. This is your direction 2. A moment is, moment is applied. Due to this moment, which type of displacement will occur? Due to this, due to moment in the direction 2, which type of displacement occurred in the direction 2? Please see the diagram. Now then, tell me, which type of displacement will occur in direction 2? Direction 2 means this side. This side is occurred is equal to your nothing but your rotation. So here, rotation. Similarly here, rotation. Clear? So up to now, no problem. Displacement at the direction 1. So up to this, done. So displacement at the direction 1 is equal to deflection. Due to unit force at 1. So here, due to unit force at 1, direction 1, unit force is acting. It is nothing but deflection due to load equal to 1. Clear? So, deflection due to load. Second one is displacement in the direction 1 due to unit force at 2. Now, again, at 2, which type of force we can provide? So, deflection, which type of force? The force is again two types, load and moment. Force is again two types, we know that. Force method, load and nothing but moment. So here, due to unit force at 2, again direction 2, you can see, this side direction 2, this side we can apply moment only, right? So that's why deflection due to moment. And moment is equal to your 1. Because in flexibility we are always providing unit force, so that's why moment value is 1. So this is equal to your nothing but deflection due to load. Here if we apply unit load, it is, oh you all know that, PL cube by 3 EI, right? Now P is equal to your 1, so it is your L cube by 3 EI. I think it is clear to everyone. Next is deflection due to moment. What is deflection due to moment? So again we can say, Deflection occurring due to moment for a cantilever beam, we all know that it is equal to ml square by 2ei. Go through your strength of material problems, the basic equations for a cantilever beam and we are pro providing a moment at the free end. So that's, then deflection will occur equal to ml square by 2ei. Fine. Next one is rotation at the direction 2. So, rotation due to unit force at 1. So, again the force is acting this direction. 
downward or vertical direction. So that's why rotation due to load at 1. Similarly, rotation due to moment. Rotation due to moment. Now go through it. Rotation due to applied load. It is equal to, again you know that, only cantilever beam is there and we are providing a load, right? So the deflection and slope, we can easily go through the basic cases, standard cases and the slope will be your PL squared by 2EI. So that is your PL squared by 2EI. That is the slope or rotation. So here PL square by 2EI means load is the unit, unit load. So L square by 2EI. I think it is clear. And last one is rotation due to moment. You all know this rotation due to moment is equal to ML by EI. Now moment is your unit moment or unit load, unit force, right? So that's why it will be L by EI. L by EI. So hence the flexibility matrix will be the flexibility matrix will be simple F11. First term is F of 1, 1. So it is your L cube by 3EI. This is your F11. Second one is F of 1, 2. ML square by 2EI. It will be L square by 2EI. Why? Because moment is unit. We are getting displacement due to unit moment. So that's why it will be L square by 2, 2EI. Check this one. F of 2, 1. That is also coming L square by 2EI. And last one is F of 2, 2. F of 2, 2 is equal to L by EI. So this is the flexibility matrix for this beam with this coordinate. Now it is clear. So this is the case how to default, how to make a formation of a flexibility matrix, right? Now again, from this example, you can go through different types of examples to find out the flexibility matrix. So this is a simple example how to make, how to find out the flexibility matrix. And one of the most important case. In this flexibility and stiffness matrix, this K of 1, 2 and Q, Q, 2, 1 will be equal. The value of F of 1, 2 and F of 2, 1 will be same. So this is one important aspect. So whenever you are making this type of flex, making flexibility matrix or stiffness matrix, if these two values have come different, then you have, in most of the cases, a, this tool is same. If it is coming different, then you have to recheck your calculation. So that is the case of flexibility and stiffness matrix. So I hope you got the basics of flexibility matrix, how to make it a fix flexibility matrix. So this is your first task. Now second task is, second is, you can easily make stiffness matrix how to make stiffness matrix. So you can make stiffness matrix by two methods. One is simple concept method. Simple concept method means find, it means find, find K11, K12, K1, K21, K22, like this. Or you can make it Stiffness is opposite to, is opposite to flexibility. We all know this. Stiffness is opposite to flexibility. So hence, stiffness, K will be, you are nothing but flexibility of inverse. This is the, this is given as in terms of matrix. So here, Opposite means nothing but inverse, right? So that's why stiffness matrix will be your flexibility matrix inverse. So that's why you will get adjacent, adjacent F 
by determinant of f. So this is one of the most important case to find out stiffness matrix or flexibility matrix when one is given. You can see the previous gate questions. You can see either flexibility matrix or stiffness matrix is given. You have to find out the opposite one. So this is nothing but a simple mathematics to find out the inverse. So that is the case. So I hope the basics have been cleared. Now later we will discuss in details in classes regarding flexibility matrix and stiffness matrix. Thank you everyone.